Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to upload my my ladder prediction for 2021. Just to let you know also, this is I'm doing this in round 4 in which the Saints are now currently beating West Coast. I think it's like 14 minutes into the last quarter. All right. Anyway, let's get started with my ladder predictions. In 18th place, now this shouldn't surprise a lot of people, North Melbourne. North Melbourne just aren't a very good team this year. They've lost all of their games so far, and they've even lost horrifically to Gold Coast. And when that happens to your side, that's when, you know, you're pretty bad. No offence to Gold Coast supporters. In 17th place, so... The first person without a wooden spoon is Carlton. In my prediction, they're the only side that North Melbourne has managed to beat. I just don't think they'll do good this year, even though their only win is one that they've already had. So, yeah. Right. In 16th place, we have Gold Coast. Honestly, Gold Coast have never been a good side, so I don't really think that this should surprise anyone. In 15th place, we have GWS. I don't know why, but GWS have not been doing very good this year. So, yeah, I've got them tipped for 15th. Let me know what you've tipped them for. In 14th place, we have... The Dockers. After I feel like, after 2015 right, and all that, when they were minor premiers, I just feel like they're not too good, good anymore. Right. In 13th place, we have St. Kilda. Right now, right, actually as I'm filming this, I don't know how this is possible, but they're currently beating the West Coast Eagles. I mean, granted, it's at Marvel, but still, these are the Saints. But yeah, I don't really think that they'll have a very good year this year. Although, beating West Coast was a bit of a highlight. I mean, like are you Saints fans? <laughs> In 12th place, we have Essendon. Don't get me wrong, Essendon aren't a bad team in any sense. I'd just say that there are teams that are better that have beaten them. I mean, they put up a good fight the other night. They nearly beat Sydney. So, guess that's their season highlight. In 11th place, we have Hawthorne. Once again, it's basically the same argument as Essendon. They're not in any way a bad side. It's just that there are teams that are a little bit better. In 10th place, we have, and this might surprise a few people, we have the Demons. They did very well towards the start of the year, but I feel like they're just going to, like, slow down a bit in, like, the last bit of the year and, like, not be as good and, like, you know, happens quite a bit in football, <laughs> I'll be honest. Right. In ninth place, we have Richmond. I'm just kidding. That was a joke. It's just that everybody likes to make jokes about Richmond <laughs> finishing ninth. But really, the team that I have tipped to finish ninth is Port Adelaide. Now, I'm sure this is a dream for every Crow supporter and myself, including myself a few years ago. But, I mean, they managed to beat the Tigers, but, I mean, that was obviously in Adelaide. So, had a bit of an advantage there. But, yeah. They did alright. 
part, as the We Finished Ninth Again Richmond song says, we went a few late and just missed the eight. Right, in eighth place, into the finals, we have Geelong. Admittedly, one of the winners in that table was dramatically biased. Of course, I'm mentioning the very infamous incident in round two where Brisbane were robbed. I remember watching that game and yelling. Yeah, but anyway, yeah. Geelong just made the eight. Actually, they're two games clear on eight. Uh, so even if they had lost that game, they'd still make the eight. I mean, they are pretty fake. I mean, they lost to Adelaide. <laughs> well, last year's wooden spoons. But anyway, in number seven, we have the West Coast Eagles. West Coast season had a bit of a hit when, I mean, they lost to the Saints. But yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm, they're a good side. Don't get me wrong. They're a very good side. But I've got them finishing 7th. <laughs> right. In 6th place we have... Also, this is the first home final of the day. woo Richmond. Normally, I'd put Richmond a lot higher. But I feel like after their loss to Sydney at, at the MCG, I feel like... I feel like with me anyway... I've lost a bit of confidence in them. I mean, I was never a Richmond supporter. But I just feel like... I feel like they're not as good anymore. Like, if you know what I mean. Right. In fifth place, the second home final of the day, we have... Collingwood! Yes, I know, this is everybody's least favourite team. But yeah, I mean, there are a few better sides well, that have managed to defeat Collingwood. Yeah. So yeah. Right. In fourth place, so we're in the top four now, we have the Crows. Granted... I myself am a Crow supporter, so I might be a little biased. But, I mean, nobody saw this coming. I mean, I've seen many ladder predictions where we were like 18th, 17th, at best probably about 15th. But, I guess we've just surprised everybody. I mean, we beat Geelong, one of the greatest sides of the modern era. So yeah, we beat Geelong, and I feel like that's given us quite a lot of confidence. And I mean, the only reason that in round two we lost to Sydney was our inaccuracy. All right. Anyway, moving on. In third place, we have Brisbane. I mean, Brisbane have had a very Poor start to the year. I mean, well, I mean, they were robbed against Geelong. But, yeah, I mean, the start of the year for them hasn't been very good. But I reckon they'll make a comeback. And I reckon they will go, like, the loss at Mars Stadium will be probably, like, I've tipped it as, as the last loss for them, but oh, that probably won't happen. Let's be let's be reasonable. Right, in second place, so a home qualifying final, we have Sydney. Good old Swan. Overall, Sydney have been a very good team this year. I mean, they beat Richmond at the G. Not the SCG, the MCG. But still. Wait, that's even better. Oh, wow. And they're one of the only teams that managed to beat the Crows. Right. 
but there's one team that's even better than the Swans. The Swans' only loss has come from this team. This team will likely be a very strong premiership contender in 2021. I'm, of course, talking about the Bulldogs. Overall, do I really have to explain? I mean, they are probably, yeah, they're going to be the best side of this year, I reckon. They absolutely thrashed North, but I mean, we all expected them to beat North, but not by that much. <laughs> but yeah, I've got North tip for number one and a very strong premiership contender. We now move to the finals to see who does win the flag. Will it be the Bulldogs or will it be someone else? Qualifying final A. The Bulldogs vs the Crows. Bring it on. So of the West. Red, white, and blue. Okay, maybe I'm not too good at singing. <laughs> Ooh, elimination final A. Collingwood vs. Geelong. Good old Collingwood forever. They know how to... Elimination Final B, Richmond vs. the Eagles. Be, 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 be. Away from Tiger Land, a fighting fury, we're from Tiger Land. Qualifying Final B, it's Sydney vs. Brisbane. Be, 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 be. Chi the red and the white on the name by day and by night Semi final A It's the Crows and the Magpies Da 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 We're the pride of South Australia and we're known as the Semi Final B It's the Lions and the tigers. <laughs> we are the pride of Brisbane town. We wear maroon, blue, and gold. I'm very sorry you have to endure my horrible singing. Let me just say that. Preliminary final A. It's the Bulldogs versus the Lions. Who will win? Do, 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 do. Sons of the West. Red, white and blue. Preliminary final B. It's the Swans versus the Crows. Honestly, I was very stumped by this one. If you look at my finals predictor... You can see that in every match, I've scheduled the home team to win. Because that is who I think will win. Now, I don't want that to happen the whole final of the series. So I want to tip the Crows, but then I'm biased. So, I, but I genuinely think Sydney will win, but I don't want, like, every home team to win. So I was very stuck with this one. But in the end, I finally chose... Chi the red and the white on other name by day and by night. Oh look, it's a grand final. Bulldogs vs the Swans. An exact copy of the 2016 grand final. And I think that this is what's going to happen. At quarter time, the Bulldogs will lead. At half time, Sydney will have a one point lead. At three quarter time, the final change, the Bulldogs will be in front. 
And then the final result of this grand final will be the Bulldogs taking out their third premiership and second against the Sydney Swans. Alright, that concludes it for my um, 2021 final and ladder prediction. If you liked it, please leave a like. Expect a lot more AFL stuff coming soon. So yeah, see, see you soon. Sorry about my absence, I just don't know what to film. Right, see you, goodbye, see you later, again, just bye!